name is Mike Wolf. I'm the R&D manager at Triangle Package Machinery, where we design and build vertical form fill seal, bag and box systems, and combination wares in Chicago. So with the compact sanitary bagger, Triangle identified the need to have two machines installed side by side to work with a, in a salad plant where they want to have a single scale feeding two machines. In order to do that, we needed to change the footprint of the machine and shrink it down quite a bit, which included shrinking the size of the control box. Now, the best way to do that is to take stuff that was in the control box and get it out. So we identified IO Link with Bailiff as a way to get the, a lot of the cables, I think about 20 cables, not going into the control box before, whereas they would have had to with our incumbent design. What that allowed us to do was tuck the control box inside the machine, saving about 15 inches in the hallway for our producers, which really adds up when you're thinking about floor space for uh, somebody who needs to have eight machines running salad. One of the focuses for the fresh cut and salad markets was really to focus in on sanitation. So we've got a solid stainless steel frame, we've got air purged motors, and the whole machine is designed to be washed down. One of the important things in that is to consolidate the cables we use the IO Link patch panel from Bailiff with the IP69K rating. And we really liked it because it's stainless steel and had a nice surface finish. So we're confident that it's going to hold up to wash down and also not accumulate product and make things messy for our customers. As we were trying to shrink the control box, we also wanted to look and see how we could get a controls architecture that's really ready for the future. So we've been hearing about people interested but not really sure how they're going to use uh, smart machines and industry 4.0 type monitoring solutions. We just wanted to make sure that our machine was ready for that. So how to make it ready? We want every sensor to have configuration da data and information that the PLC knows about and that the PLC can also write. With that in mind, IO Link was really the best standard. In addition to that, we were really interested in the, the pricing of the IO-Link sensors, where we found that unlike some of the other standards where you need to get, um, really go up in price to get the analog information or the configuration data, with IO-Link, in a lot of cases, Balif is putting the IO-Link default in the sensor, and, it's, and they're not jacking the price to accommodate for those new features. So one of the challenges with uh, designing and building vertical form fill seal machines is that you have a lot of different types of customers. You might have a salad customer, uh, nuts, uh, baits goods, all sorts of different products that you want to do in the same machine, and they need some different options. So traditionally, what we would need to do to respond to those different options is we would end up basically custom designing the control box each time. We need to add some sensors here, a choke detect, a bag shake, or whatever, and we're adding, we're adding stuff into the control box and we have to do the wiring. That makes it more difficult to do retrofits and it also makes it, it's more to manage in the shop. With IO Link, now when we want to add options, in some cases, all we are adding is a single cable plugging into the bailiff master block. In addition, we have a plan where when we have a package that needs, requires a lot more options, we're going to be able to add a master block and it's extensible in that way where we're going to be able to more easily retrofit in the things in the field and also more easily build out the options in our factory. One of the challenges that is coming to us from our customers is they want a standard device configuration and also standards that can be applied without counting on operator intervention all the time. So one small example of that is a photo eye sensor. You would need an operator to teach the sensor for a different film type. If you have white on black or black on white, you have different color levels. Now, that process isn't very difficult, but it's still even nicer if you can have the recipe tell the sensor what it's supposed to do. That way, you don't have to depend on an operator who might have multiple machines to be trained on to be able to teach and use all the sensors. Instead, they just pick the right recipe and the sensors download the configuration using IO Link and automatically have the right color levels or whatever that sensor is doing. One of the most innovative things we did on this design is we took our back seal bar where we're using valves to control engaging and disengaging from the forming tube. And we said, what's the critical parameter? It's the time that the sealer is in contact with the, with the film. So that time, traditionally, 
is just you, you send the valve and you trust that the valve is gonna take the sealer into the right position and pull it away at the right time. Now, with a position sensor using IO Link, we're able to see how long the sealer is in contact with any size forming tube without having to make any change parts because we're measuring over the whole stroke of the cylinder where it is. It's, a, it's really neat to be able to say, how much time do I want and get it there? And also, by the way, we can monitor, do we start moving slower? Is this cylinder starting to leak? Do we need to do a replacement when it started to leak, but before we have a catastrophic failure? And that's all stuff we can do now because of IO Link and because of how we decided to implement it in our design. When Triangle decided to implement IO Link, we wanted to make sure to identify a partner that would have the right products and the right support to be able to hold up in our environment where sanitation is a, is a focus and ease of use for our customers. One thing that we found when we went through sort of looking at the options was that Balif had the best master block, which was stainless steel, IP69K, and really suitable for the environment, having the power requirements to run a valve stack. Sort of everything we looked at, it had the most robust design. Um, also for a number of the sensors, Balif comes in with sensors that are already IP69K, and we like putting those on the machine because we know that they're gonna hold up in the washdown environment.